While everybody was spending more time at home, a lot of people adopted puppies and dogs, cats and kittens, and spending all that time together at home has been great, but now pet owners are preparing to go back to work in person or maybe on vacation. So how do you prep your pooch for separation? To get advice, we are turning to our friend Liz Blondie. She's the owner of K9to5, who is here on behalf of our sponsor, your Metro Detroit Chevy Dealers. Hey, what's going on, Liz? Hey, Jason, how are you? Good to see you. Tell us about K9to5. So K9 to 5 is a pet care facility with locations in Midtown and Ferndale. We offer dog daycare, boarding, grooming, and trade. So for people who work, uh, you know, start their day at, I don't know, 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock, how early do, can you drop off? You can drop off as early as 6.30 a.m. and pick up as late as 8 p.m. We also have Saturday and Sunday hours for pick up and drop offs for overnight boarding as well. So how can people prepare their dog for time away from them at home? That's a great question, Jason. I've got six tips. So obviously my first tip is gonna be daycare. Um, K9 to five offers daycare. There's tons of dog daycares. If your dog is particularly anxious, um, if you just feel like you can't leave your dog home alone, daycare is a good option. Um, daycare also helps with socialization to other dogs and to strangers. It helps with weight control, exercise. Um, we work with the dogs on basic manners. So daycare is great. Uh, some other pieces of advice. Practice leaving your dog alone now. So I know that it's fun to take your dog with you when you go to the grocery store or when you go to a friend's house for dinner. You've got to get your dog used to being home alone now. Um, I really recommend crate training. I think that the crate gives the dog a safe space to kind of call their own. Um, you can leave your dog in a crate with a stuffed frozen Kong, you know, you stuff it with peanut butter, you put some dog food in there, leave it in the freezer overnight, gives your dog something to do during the day, which is always nice. Um, increase exercise, a 10 minute walk before work would really do a world of good for both you and your dog. Um, if it's raining outside, you don't feel like spending time outside, you know, play with a flirt pole, give your dog a puzzle toy. All right, how do people get their, their dog or their pet ready for doggy daycare? If we're not gonna stay at home, we're actually gonna go to a pet, you know, during the day. How do you prepare your dog for that? Yep, so you wanna make sure that you're doing some research, looking for a good daycare. You're looking for a high employee to dog ratio. Um, you wanna make sure that they've got somebody there overnight. You wanna make sure that the people there are trained in pet first aid. You'll wanna make sure that your dog is up to date on all vaccinations, including leptospirosis and the Bordetella or canine cough vaccine. Um, and then just do your research, you know, get testimonials, talk to friends, look online, see what the best fit is for your dog. Um, but, you know, daycare and, you know, exercise, things like that, that's all about really stimulating your dog's brain. So even as something as simple as not feeding your dog in a bowl breakfast, but Scatter the food all around your house and let your dog go on a scavenger hunt while you're getting ready in the morning. Liz, that's our time. Thank you so much. It's good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you too, Jason. Take you, care. You too, Olivia, even though you just turned your back Olivia. on. Olivia, she's tired. She's sleeping. <laughs> see that. To learn more about K9 to 5,